Hey guys, how's it going? Ollie Bo here and today we're going to be doing our final video on ESO logs. So we've covered healing, we've covered tanking and now it's what you've all been waiting for. We're going to look at how to read ESO logs as a DD. Um, so we've gone through like looking at buffs and debuffs in the other videos quite a lot so I'm going to keep it quite light on that kind of stuff uh, for this video. We're going to try and focus more on what is specific for a DD. Um, but yeah, just as a quick reminder, obviously buffs, you know, your important ones are going to be um, mostly listed in the top, honestly. Major Slayer, Major Force, Major Berserk, that kind of stuff. And your debuffs, you click on the debuffs, go to enemies, and you'll want it like, on the boss. Stuff like Magicka Steel is going to be important, uh, Fracture or, I mean, what would the match Breach? Those are the things you want to look for. Uh, but hopefully your uh, support team is looking, looking at those as well, so um, you don't need to focus too much on that. But, damage done. Now this is the important one. Um... Now you might just click on damage done and you'll see, okay, oh, if I'm player four, okay, I'm doing, I'm doing great here, I'm doing the best. But on a fight like this, you do want to select like the main boss because as you can see, it does change the order. So even though player four was doing the best overall, they weren't doing the most single target to the boss. Um, that was player eight. So GG player eight. Um, and then what we can do so we can go into that and we can see where all our damage is coming from. Um, now, note about light attacks. You'll notice that all of these things are different colours. Um, and for light attacks, that does make things a bit complicated because, if we just clear this here, um, you see, we've got one, two, three, four, five different coloured light attacks. Now, I've been trying to figure it out, and I'm pretty sure red is Inferno, like fire damage. Um, light blue, this one, that's Resto Staff. So we can click on this. We see oh, it's our healers doing Resto Staff. Um, yellow is physical damage, so one hand and shield. Okay, player two, that makes sense. That'll be off tank, main tank. It's a tank, I'm pretty sure. Um... Let's see which ones have we done? Uh, light blue, dark blue is an ice staff. I'm pretty sure. Let's see, does this player have an ice staff? Yep, ice staff. Um, what was the last one? Uh, gray, gray is lightning. I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty. You know, these both these players will have a lightning. Player nine. It's got a lightning. Yep. And what was it, our Sork? It's player six, was it? Lightning, yeah. So, red's Inferno, light blue's Resto, grey is Lightning, yellow is Physical, so one hand and shield, or a bow, or dual wield, and dark blue is Ice. Um, but the main one we want to look at, for DDs, it's either going to be the yellow, the physical one, if you're in a stamina group, um, this one, or... In a magical group, it's more likely to be this inferno. Um, so let's see, player one's doing the most light attacks per minute. Um, usually, the more light attacks you're doing, the better. Uh, let's see, we want uh, on enemies, no, friendlies. There we go, on Yolnakrin, and we want our red light attacks. So player 8 was our top DD on Yonakrin and they're also doing pretty high amount of light attacks. Um, not the most but you see they're, they're up there so definitely if you're like always in the lower end of your group on light attacks then maybe that's something you want to you want to improve. Um, yeah I mean up, up time it's hard to say what's what's good but looking at this it seems like around 50% is uh, seems to be working for these guys so you know whatever your highest is I always say like 
it really depends on your group what you want to aim for but if you can aim to be the strongest player in your group with your buffs then that can't be a bad thing right um obviously don't get too competitive don't stop being toxic but if you if you're down here you're going to end up being up here eventually with with some hard work um and no matter how, I mean, even if you're at the top, to be honest, you can always you can always improve. There's always room to improve as a DD, so it's just as important for player seven uh, as player ten to to check their logs, make sure they're doing uh, make sure they're doing the right thing. Yeah, so player seven had the most light attacks, followed by player eight. And they're both there. You go a good six k above uh, the next players. Um, now, let's see, what else can we check? Uh, active, this is important as well. This is how much you're, like, actually engaging with uh, the boss. Now, obviously, Yona Krin's flying up half the time, so the activity isn't, uh, isn't going to be 100%. But again, you see the person with the most activity, they're at the top, so you know do them cast per minute do them make sure you're always active even when you're moving make sure you're like casting stuff um casts again here we go player four um let's see cast on the owner crin 71 cast per minute on the owner crin it's pretty good um so I mean, there's some fights where you might get, like, yeah, see, look, 120, 130, um, but that's going to include the roleplay phases as well. So it's hard to say what the best CPM is, but quite often a lot of DDs are going to be over 100. Um, so if you're under 100, then maybe that is something to focus on. Um, just, but, I mean, even then, like, what player 7 and 8 were our top, and they didn't get the most cast per minute overall. Let's see if they got the most cast per minute on Yolnukrin. Yeah, they were pretty high. So, cast per minute is pretty important. Because, I mean, the more cast you do, the more damage you're doing, right? Pretty much. Kind of makes sense. Um, now, what else can we look at? Healing. Healing's not going to be that, uh, that important. We want to... Do we want to check our healing received? Um, can we check that? Possibly not. Damage taken, that's going to be a good one to look at. How much crap are we standing in? So this is a tank, that would be the main tank I believe. That would be the guarding healer, that would be another tank. And then, all these players here. Okay, so player 5 and player 13. I mean, these four players here took the most damage. And they also weren't at the top of the DPS either, so gives good reason to say if you're not standing in stuff, I suppose, the less you'll need to shield or play defensively. So if you've got good situational awareness, then it does seem like it's gonna help your DPS. So definitely um you know it's an all all round thing, DPS. You need survivability, awareness, and of course, most of all you need a good good rotation. Good solid rotation, lots of cast per minute. Um, it needs to be accurate. Lots of light attacks as well. Now, if you're like me and you don't know what you want to um, use in a certain trial, say like, okay, I'm playing Magicka Sork in Kind's Aegis. What the hell do I use? Because I'm pretty sure the cookie cutter build I got off Outcast, although it's amazing, is it going to be? Is it going to work for me in Kind's Aegis or wherever you're going to go? Now, what I like to do, if you're in that position, what you can do is, okay, so let's say, let's take that as an example, Magsork in Kynes Aegis. We go to the home page, go to Kynes Aegis, we go to rankings, um, all classes, we want Sork, Magicka DPS. Here we go. Th these are the best scores for Magsorks in that trial at the moment. Um, Let's have a look. So we want ones with ha which have a log on them, and these are going to be public logs. And all we do is click on their name. Oh, now I hope this is a DD. Yeah, it's a DD. Um, 
there we go. Here is a public log of how to play Magsorc. So let's see on the first boss. Boom. There's your skill setups. Nice and easy. If you don't know what to do, just you can just copy this to be honest. And it's probably not I mean maybe you won't do better than them, but you can at least aim for whatever they're whatever they're doing. So how much DPS are they doing there? Look. 102k on first boss. Crazy. I mean if if the build works for them, it can work for you. So yeah, if you're lot if you're like lost for what to use, definitely, you know, go to the trial that you're about to do. Rankings, all classes, pick your Christ, werewolf DPS. Okay. Thank God there's no werewolves. Um Yeah, look for a one that's got a log on it. Just click on the name. Boom. So I'm not the top DD, but at least if you click on them, you might be able to get some ideas of what they're using. Here we go. Zen, Elfbane, Three Bloodthirsty, Elambrus. So hopefully that is, that's going to help you uh, help you pick. Um, now, what else can we look at? So let's go back to our log that we had. Let's make it anonymous again. Um, <laughs> So we can also look at what buffs we're giving to other people. So say you're on something like a Magsork where you do have a buff that is for the whole group. You can click on buffs here. Um, all sources and you can do buffs that are coming from you. So what buffs are we providing? Um, now the one that is going to be our class buff is called boom, 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 boom. where is it what am I looking for what's it even called minor minor something it's not minor sorcery it's the other one isn't it minor my goodness have we not got it maybe this player doesn't have it unlucky let's have a look they probably don't do it because we've got a sork tank and we have got crystal frags bloody hell am i blind buffs provided by player seven minor minor, minor prophecy no there we go 36 casts, 98.39% uptime. Awesome. Um, now let's see another thing that might be useful. Let's say our Magic DK, we want to check their engulfing uptime. Um, so, so we go to buffs. No, that'll be a debuff, sorry. So debuffs on Yolnikrin. Coming from player 8, engulfing flames, 71 point a bit. And if you want to see that compared to the damage that the boss is taking, click on that. We get our graph up there. Damage done by friendlies to Yolnikrin. Graph, main, boom. There we go. Pretty good uptime. Any of the times when we don't have engulfing on the boss, the boss isn't even there. So, good job. Um, yeah, that kind of that kind of covers it. So. Again, quick run through, obviously check your buffs, check your debuffs. You can compare like how much combat prey you're getting compared to other people. Like maybe that is something, one of the reasons why you've got lower DPS. Um, so let's have a look. Minor Berserk. Berserk. There we go. Active ability. And so... I mean, it's pretty even across the board there, but what you could do is, if you are player uh, player 11 and you feel like you've got way worse DPS than player 8, you could explain it a little bit with this. Um, I mean, a lot of logs, they're not going to be this consistent. You might have like one person at the bottom with 30 and one person at the, at the top with, <coughs> with over 90. Um, and it might not always be the healer's fault, to be honest. It can be your positioning. So, yeah, as I say, the main things we want to look out for as a DD is our positioning, um, our like cast per minute, 
um, and like our survivability and all of that is going to help towards making us a better DD. So yeah, hope it helps. I mean, we've gone through a lot of the same things as we have done before. Maybe we've learned a few more skills, I don't know. Um, yeah, and that covers it for all of our ESO log videos. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you've liked and subscribed and uh, check me out on Twitch as well. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Mwah.